So you have Quilters Creative Touch version 5, Beginnings. And I'd like to welcome you to the program. You're going to love it. I use it all the time. Um, when you first load this machine, I'm sorry, when you first load the software, you will see the screen. And so let's just talk about it for a second. Your user manuals are over here. Up at the right, you have a help with lots of topics. And I would encourage you to familiarize yourself with all of these um, help tutorials, videos, etc. And all of the options on the right hand side, we're not going to go in detail on those today, um, but you will see that they're there. And then, of course, exit is self explanatory. So, there's two things you can do in beginnings one is select and slow, we select a pattern and sew it, and the other is pantograph, which is an edge to edge design. You also down here will see try other product tiers. You're in beginnings. There's also a pro version and a gold version, and they both have different options. I encourage you to get used to beginnings before you try these because you have a 30-day trial and you don't want to waste that time. Spend some time getting to know your software first, then upgrade and see how you like the different um things that are added in those versions. So first, let's do select and sew. And I'll tell you, I am in a, a simulation mode, which means that this computer is not connected to my long arm. So I get a screen here that wants me to define my safe area. What you will get is a screen that may, that asks you to take your machine, um, your actual long arm, and over to the top left and the bottom right and set your own safe area. And that's basically the area within which you are allowed to stitch on your machine. You definitely need um, your safe area defined before every quilt. Okay, so we're gonna start with just picking a pattern. You have options here of different patterns to pick and you can click on and, and look at those. Right now I'm just gonna select a block because let's say I'm doing a baby quilt. And this brings up your quilt where you're going to decide where you want that baby quilt to be. And select pattern, of course, we have already done. And you'll see here your toolbox at the bottom. And the toolbox has several options. The first one is already selected for you, and it defines whatever is on the right-hand side here, which are my placement options. Ruler brings up ruler options, marking tool, and set safe area, which we talked about already. Uh, the marking tool is allows you to add markings on your screen so that then you could move your design within those markings. Um, that <clears throat> that is used, in, and I'll, I'll do another video on that later. Um, so right now we're going to talk about placement. You can decide how you want to place it by selecting all, which you have all of these options or you can use these down arrows to select. And watch how my design changes. See the gray, the large gray polka dots? That is <clears throat> where you're going to position your machine and click on these dots to say, yeah, this is where I want the right corner to be, etc. So I'm just gonna do four points for now, and then I have other options. Do I want it to stretch, or do I want it to fit within those four points? Um, and I'll show you the differences of those. Um, then you have the option to flip. So you can flip your design different ways. Margins allows you to say um, how far uh, away from the edge of your seam do you want your design to fit. So to do that, you would have to be in, I believe in stretch. But anyway, you would define, see how it's going in, my bear. Um, right here, I've got 0.25. So I have a quarter inch that's going to stitch within wherever I mark for this bear to uh, be positioned. And you can re rotate your, your design. You can reverse rotate it. Um, this tells you you want to stitch the pattern. If you want the ditch to stitch, that is going to be the green area. If you want your ditch to sti at, stitch out. So the next thing you do is position it. So I'm going to put my long arm. I'm going to bring it all the way over here. And I'm going to position this bear. This is where I want this uh, arrow marks my long arm. And that's where I want my left corner to be. So I come over to the bear and I click the left corner. And notice it moved the whole thing. If I wanted to, let's say my my 
Um, my block is a little bit larger than that. So I would bring my long arm to the right corner where my block is, press the, the gray circle for the right corner, and then I'd bring my long arm to where my bottom right corner is, click the bottom right, and maybe my left one is right here. That's a little wonky, isn't it? But you know what? Sometimes you may have a quilt that looks like that. Okay, so once you get it defined on your, on your machine and you've moved your machine around and you've marked your points, you click Quilt at the bottom right. Everything that is a dotted blue is going to stitch. The green is where it's going to start and the red is where it is going to stop. Now, let's talk about the settings at the top real quickly. You have settings you can stitch at slow, medium, or fast. I recommend starting out with slow. Your tie-off stitch count you can change. It goes as much as five. I usually have mine on three. Um, you can do back and forth stitches or micro. I believe the micro holds better, so I leave it on that. Um, and these are just uh, defaults. I usually stitch at 11 per inch, 11 stitches per inch. You could change it to whatever you're comfortable with. So that is your settings. So the first thing you need to do is move your machine to close to where you want to start. Then you come down here to the right and select Pull Bobbin. Now your machine is going to stake a, take a stitch and then it moves to the right or the left. And then you're going to grab this thread right here in your forefinger and thumb. And then when you press, or I'm sorry, grab that and lift it up. And when you do, the bobbin thread is going to come right here, come up to the top. So now you will hold the bobbin thread and the top thread in your hands and select move back. Your machine moves back to the start point. You're still holding those threads and you select sew. And your machine is going to just start sewing. It does a few micro stitches and then stitches out the design. At this point, you can either cut those threads because it micro-stitched at the end and at the, at the beginning, or you can uh, bury those in your quilt with a self-threading needle. Now, on the, when you get to the end here, you're going to need to um, take a stitch, move your machine away, and then with your finger, grab this long thread, move your machine back to this hole, while you're still holding that top thread and on your handlebars, click needle down, needle up, and it is going to pull the bobbin thread to the top. And then you move your machine away again and you can clip those threads at the bottom or bury them in your quilt. Then you click finished and you're ready to go to your next block. So let's say my uh, uh, the next block that I want to put the bear in is over here. Right here, I'm going to leave blank for now. So again, you select the left top. Now I'm going to do the right. And now I'm going to do the bottom right. Whoops. And now I'm going to do the bottom left. And, and well, I clicked something wrong. So let's go back here. Let's select him again. Okay, so let's go back. This is my new place here, and, and I'll change this too. Let's say um, I want to click, I want to um, just do one point. I can do the start, the end, the center. I'm going to do the center, and I know my block is here, so I'll put my machine there. I click the, yeah, the I'm sorry, the gray button, and the design moves there, and now I'm ready to quilt. So again, I'm going to pull the bobbin, hold the top thread, pull the bobbin thread up. I'm going to move back, and then I'm ready to sew. And bury those threads that I just pulled up. And on this, uh, at the end, remember to move your machine away, hold this thread, move your machine back, needle down, needle up move your machine away, and it pulls the bobbin thread to the top, and you can click. And that's how you do, uh, you select one design to sew.